What is going on, my fellow brothers and sisters, survivors and thrivers from narcissistic abuse? I am trying to get this channel or this TikTok as far as it can go to the stars. Nothing but success. You know the narcissists say success, and I can only do that with your help. So please follow, share, subscribe, uh, share your favorite video. I'm trying to get this channel up to 2K. I'm trying to get this TikTok up as far as it can go. So please do that for me. Today, I want to talk about you can't help a person that does not want to help themselves. You can't help them. All right. If you are up here, if you are elevated, you see somebody down here who gives you a sob story, uh, who, who fools their way into your life, who does not take the steps necessary to better themselves, who does not listen to advice, who always has an excuse as to why they are not uh, taking the steps to improve themselves. There ain't nothing you can do for them. That's what a narcissist was. You know, they were setting up problems for which there was no solution. Uh, the, they're going to drag you down. A negative force can drag you down. What do we do when we go through life as we learn and we mature and we grow? We raise our vibrations. We raise our thoughts. We begin learning positive thinking, conflict resolution. We begin moving forward in life in progression. Narcissists don't do that. They live in constant negativity, bad karma. Uh, when they when they're lying, saying that they're successful, that they're good people, that they're trying to help, but they're lying. We know they're lying. And a negative force will bring down a positive force way before any positive force will bring up a negative one that does not want to succeed. Why? Because as we grow, as we learn, as we better ourselves, as we raise our vibrations, um, we are fighting those base impulses. We are fighting the demons in us. We are fighting uh, all of the things, all of the ways that cowardly, weak people retreat into talking trash about others, lying, uh, making excuses, getting angry, getting sad, anything that a person can do to avoid accountability or growth. That's not what we do. So you need to cut them toxic people out your life, y'all. Uh, they are not worth your time. You didn't put all the work in your life that you have just to be drugged down by somebody else. You didn't put in the time to heal yourself, to better yourself, to learn the lessons you had to do, to take accountability for the wrongs that you did, learn the lessons that you needed to in order to elevate your spirit, elevate who you are. You didn't take, you didn't, you didn't wait, you, you, you didn't use all that time for no reasons. You're wasting it if you're wasting it on somebody else. If you are trying to elevate people who do not want to grow. This is why you do not tell people your plans for success. You don't. You keep it to a small few. This is why you stay away from toxic people. And the more you heal, brothers and sisters, the more you heal yourself, the more you don't get excited and you don't want to see, deal with, be around anybody who talks shit, smears, uh, avoids accountability. Um, you, you that, that ain't exciting to you no more. You know what's exciting to me now that I'm healing? Being by myself. Being by myself. I've been a YouTuber for four years. I live stream with a whole lot of people. A whole lot of people. And most of those people are fucking trash. I don't even need them no more. I've been growing two channels on my own. And you know what? It can, they can sit out there and talk shit. They can be mad that I'm not pulling them up. They can be mad that I'm not supporting them. Anybody in my life can straight be mad that they can't leech off me anymore. You know you're a strong force when people use your name to elevate themselves, when they don't want to do the work, when they sit back and make excuses and point the finger at you and project all of their ills onto you, when they sit in whisper networks and they sit in private groups and the only thing that keeps those toxic fucks together is talking shit about you. Uh, you don't need that in your life. You know what? I'm happily alone right now. Happy. Not lonely. Not sitting in my house going, oh, why ain't nobody talking to me? Not sitting in my house, uh, not to, uh, looking around and going, I used to have all these friends and now I don't. You know what it was, my brothers and sisters? A lot of them weren't your friends. They weren't your friends. Just like that narcissist wasn't your friend. When you begin to elevate, when you elevate your vibrational frequency, when you begin to feel better about yourself, when you raise in your spirit, those people burn away. Remember that you know, that bright light does attract moths. It absolutely does. And you can smack them away real easy. You keep elevating. You keep rising. Toxic people do not want to put in the work. They do not want to better themselves. They don't care. They have no shame. They're out there talking trash. They're out there bringing down your name. You don't need that in your life. Elevate. And you don't need them around because to toxic people, negative people, uh, narcissists, whatever the hell they are, they're going to drag you down. That is their mission in life, to make everyone as miserable, pathetic, and useless as they are. There's a lot of good liars out there, a lot of good of a lot of good illusionists. And yeah, sometimes liars, fakes, and snakes, they elevate for some damn reason. People believe them lies. We can't really throw stones, can we, my brothers and sisters, our fellow survivors of narcissistic abuse, because we fell for a bullshit liar and tried to elevate somebody lower than us, didn't we? But 
That is the truth of it. When you get these new eyes after you heal, you cannot help them. There is no help in them. If somebody's blind, let them be blind. If somebody's toxic, let them be toxic. I got a lot. Right now, I got some good friends, people that I know are good-hearted, good-hearted people, good-souled, good people falling for the shit that the toxic motherfuckers I used to know are talking. Falling for that hook, line, and sinker. Still hanging out with them. Still, I can't help them. I can, you can't help them in your life either. You can't help anybody in your life that doesn't want to grow, doesn't want to elevate, doesn't want to better themselves. You can't do nothing. All you can do is grow. Be happy on your own. Elevate on your own. That narcissist want to drag you down, that liar. Any toxic person in your life want to drag you down. They want to blame you for their problems. Don't let them. Don't tell them your plans for success. Don't share your ideas. Don't share your energy like that. Only with a select few. That person had no shame. That person that abused you and any other toxic piece of shit out there that abused you, they got no shame. They want to drag you down. They want to anchor you because you are a shooting star. You are a shining bright light amidst the darkness of the world. I am proud and my love to each and every one of you out there. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for loving yourself. We need more of us keeping it real, more truthful, honest, compassionate, kind, wonderful people. We need more of us in the world. And the only way we're going to do that, and it's a lonely road, but the only way we're going to do that is to heal, enjoy yourself, be and by yourself, growing by yourself. And when you see, when you see a double talker, a con artist, a liar, a manipulator, and we see him coming from a mile away, when you see somebody trying to drag you down or question yourself because of their own bullshit, you cut them out. As I say, be good to each other and suffer no fools. Suffer them none.